After climbing up that hill yesterday, we decided that this seems to be a really good spot to boot the drone up and get a little bit of aerial footage, see a little bit more of the islands around us and maybe even pick a new anchorage. You want to stop? As well as hiking and exploring the local area, we also spent a bit of our time in Marina doing some work around the boat. Just because we're off the hard sand doesn't mean the boat work has stopped. So today's project is making a new bridle for the tender. So the bridle that you can see hanging off our davit system is actually for the high field that we had originally. So now that we have our aluminium tender, I really need to make a new bridle. So I've been teaching myself how to splice uh, from YouTube over the past few days. And today is the day that I'm going to attempt to swap this entire bridle over to one that's better suited to the, the weight and the shape of the new tender. So I finished this side, I spliced this end, locked it off, and now I'm just tapering the end to give it a bit of added strength. Then one more, then I'll bow line the clips on and we'll go from there to size it. Oh wait, it's a lost. Tynan also had to do a bit of work, but Rose wasn't overly helpful. <laughs> My plan is not working. Is that, is that right? <laughs> Rose is here to help. <laughs> Do you want me to let some air out? Of the right side. <laughs> Don't eat. I'll let some air out. Because this side's too high. That's why it's one one chamber though. It's all one thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's just too much air in here. This fell off a cruise ship. <laughs> fall it's off. It got torn off in a storm. Torn off in a storm. Like you were in a marina, that's for sure. <laughs> Mind you, we would have got through the med faster if we had ridden that bad boy in, wouldn't we? Hey. <laughs> oh, is that fun? Oh! Is that fun? Oh, is that a game? How could you deprive this dog of such joy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so she's clawing him! Come here! <laughs> Can I help you? Rose, come up here! Come here! Ready? Jump! Jump! Hold on to your glasses! Jump! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the excitement! Oh my god! We've been in this anchorage for about five or six days now and it's been really peaceful. We've been pretty much the only boat here the whole time. It's good holding, but the thing is, there's just not that many shops and suppliers and things like that around and we're expecting some mail in Split. So it's time to head back to the Split anchorage today. As you can see from like the surroundings, it's starting to get a little bit more wintry here in Croatia. Um, we're in autumn 
and that means we need to plan what's going to come next for us. So uh, we have two choices. We can either winter in Europe or we can head to another part of the world and we are going to go for option two. So our plan long term is that when it hits the right time of year around November, we are going to cross the Atlantic and head for the Americas. So that is really, really exciting. I've been to America before when I was in high school on a school trip. The boys have never been before and they've always wanted to go. So this is, it's a really exciting plan for us. So we'll see how that all turns out. But for today, it's just a little move from this anchorage to split. Oh, you are happy girl. You know that we're going somewhere. Rose has been running around the boat like a lunatic. Um, as soon as she heard Trent unzipping the helm, she raced onto the roof, looked at him, and she's just so happy. Like this dog loves it when the boat's moving. Are you ready to go, Rose? She's like, all right, guys, let's go. Yeah, I'm all good. Got the bridle. The anchor's just at the waterline now. Anchor's secure. We've successfully pulled the anchor up and now we're going to start motoring out the bay. Hopefully when we get outside, the wind should be on our beam and we can sail for a bit of it. So as you can see, we've just left the bay that we were in to loop from the Trigir area around to split. So we're about to enter the more open seas of the Adriatic between us and the outer islands. So far the swell's really good. It's actually better than when we came down. So that's a huge relief. Although I do seem to have got over my seasickness, which again is a huge relief because when you've committed to living your life on a boat, being violently seasick is just not a good part of that plan. So uh, from here it's, I don't know, probably going to take us an hour or two to get back to split and then we'll be able to start organising the next section of what we have to do on this boat. Because you are a happy guy. Come on. Oh, 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 you So we're just pulling into the split anchorage now and where we're going to aim to anchor is around here. So it's only about four to five meters deep, which isn't a problem for the catamaran. And we should have a pretty solid holding there, which is good. Coming up. It's half out. Lifting. It's out. So it seems to be set. Tynan is just getting ready to do what we have explained before is his 
favorite, favorite boat job, he is heading up the mast. But because we like to keep it fresh here on Sailing Vessel Lager, we have devised a new way for him to head up there. So today we need to do a little bit of maintenance on the Genoa, which will involve Tynan hanging off the furler. And done these tight. Rose, do you not support your own head anymore? <laughs> she's such a nugget. She wanted to be up here, now she's up here. What? What? Where are you going to go? What's this? She's trying to hook my head. <laughs> Ball up, dog. Grunt. She's not sure where she wants to be, but a backflip is involved. Almost done, almost done. I remembered you saying it, so now I'm just passing it between my hands. Much faster trip down with me and my one loop. <laughs> than me being very take, careful. You know, I can take his body weight. I could hold his body weight without even... You can hold his body weight, and meanwhile I have like visions of me seesawing with him and get shot into the air. I know that I can not even have the winch down with a double thing like that, I can just take the body weight. <laughs> what happened? He's walking like a penguin. You done? I can roll it up. <laughs> yeah, you might want to tighten it first. Oh no, should be alright. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're sitting in it, it's alright, but because I can't sit back, I've got to like hang off the the forestay or whatever they call it. Well, it just digs into your leg, like my whole leg's gone to sleep. Can't even switch sides either. No. Well, the, the grub screws are all down the front. No word of a lie, the last screw at the very top. And I didn't even, like I only just started to turn it and the top of the yarn key just went ping. I'm impressed you didn't drop it. And that thing's probably been used three times. Yeah, it's like it's a four mil, like it's, it's, it's a four mil Allen key, so it only really gets used for like grub screws. I wasn't holding it at the end, I was holding it at the head and. Done. It just went ping. Oh. Manufacturing problem. So as a result, Top. this guy had to winch him up and down the mast twice manually. <laughs> so we stood out, we stood out in the hail, we stood out in the hail, and it didn't hurt us, so I figure it won't hurt the solar panel. So we were just sitting inside putting stuff in the bilge and planning like what we're gonna the they said. It will be nice, they said. <laughs> Probably was nice if you went in a hard stand in summer. But anyway, we'll sit inside planning what we're gonna do next, um, putting some stuff in the bilge, chatting about maybe going to Morocco, when we just heard like, ting, 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 and we realized that it, it's hailing. It's not even that cold, but it's hailing. And there you go, now the sun will come out. We'll get some good solar back because the rain has dumped the whole sky. The National Park will steam 